Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Think you know the Bible? Think you've heard it all before, eh? Bible, Bible, blah bitty, blah. Well, we think you need a refresher course. Get ready to learn from the Bible like you've never learned before. Information that will blow your mind. Inspiration that will kickstart your heart. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Live from Altadena Middle School, this is gonna rock your world. Check. Wow. Check. Oh, check. Ooh. Oh, a little too to much sibilance, guys. Uh, can we turn that down a bit? Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Oh, that's better. I'll fix up the bar. All right. All right. Well, how great to see so many of you attend this mandatory retelling of some of the Bible's most scandalous stories. I'm Mr. Marty Culp. And I'm Mrs. Bobby Mohan Culp. And we head up the music department at Altadena Middle School. So hello again. Pastor R. Mark Beeson has asked us here once again to help bring to life some of the characters of, of the Bible through the magic of, of song. song. Yeah. You know, whenever we're here at the GCC, I always get just so jazzed. I got a feeling Ooh, that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Yeah. Mazel tov, friends. Yeah, mazel tov. Oh. Um, I think you're right, Bobby. It's gonna be good. Oh, but we do have to warn you, some of these tales are PG-13. Yeah. yeah. Uh, take Moses, for instance, friends. Uh, long before he led the Israelites out of, out of Egypt, he saw an e Egyptian guard beating a Hebrew slave. He then killed the poor fella and buried him in the sand. Moses shot the sherry, but he did not shoot in self-defense. Mo shot the sherry, Pharaoh said it was a capital offense. Fellow, are you okay? Fellow, are you okay? Are you okay, fella? You've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. You know, that story's a real thriller. Yeah, it's a real thriller. Hey, uh, Moses uh, did do a bad thing, but he did not kill the, kill the deputy. No. no, he did not. And after he hid out in the desert for 40 years, God raised him up to be a hero to his people. And then a hero comes along with a strength to carry on. Then you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you, Moses. There goes my hero, watch him as he goes, 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 goes. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of heroes, I think many would agree that King David was one. That's right. He was just, just a young boy when God used him to strike down the mighty giant Goliath. He's going down, down in an earlier round. Goliath, you're going down swinging. I'll be your number one with a slingshot. Then cut off your head and wash it rot. Ooh. That's gross. Tough stuff. A bit gruesome. Yeah. But later, uh, when, uh, when David became king, he literally uh, danced in his skivvies before the Lord. His wife did not think that was appropriate at all. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. With your trousers down south, then your crown turned sideways. Get it up. Hey, get your pants on the ground. Poor fellow. Yeah. Well, David was a man after God's own heart. But when it came to Bathsheba. Womanizer, woman, womanizer, you're a womanizer, oh, womanizer, oh, you're a womanizer, David, you, you, you are, you, you, you are, womanizer, 
Bathsheba had nothing on you, Bobby. Oh, uh, 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 but then David uh, went and had Bathsheba's husband killed. Cause it's too late to apologize. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. Yeah, yeah. God showed him mercy. Yeah. Now here's a story that from the Bible that uh, everyone knows, uh, but we fail to realize that it was how very scandalous it was when the Virgin Mary became pregnant. Without a husband. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Put your hands up. Oh, 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 oh. I bet, her, I bet her dad was pretty ticked off about that. Papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. Papa, don't preach. I've been losing sleep. But I made up my mind. I'm keeping my baby. Ooh, I'm going to keep my, my baby. baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, she did keep that baby. That was a good thing, too. Yeah. And you know, Mary was on a journey. Which reminds me, she's just a small town girl living in a Roman world. She took a midnight donkey to Bethlehem. A little donkey ride. It's a pivotal point in the Bible. That's right. And you know, there are big parts of the Bible that were written by King Solomon. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And there's time to every purpose under heaven. He's bringing wisdom back. Yeah, them other kings, they don't know how to act. Yeah. 700 wives, that's pretty whack. Yeah, these foreign gods, I'm getting way off track. Yeah, take, take it to the Bible. Bible. You know, there was one hero of the Bible who, who brought his temper back, and that was Peter. In fact, he had one poor fella's ear. He cut it, he cut it off. Right in front of Jesus, too. Na 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 na. I want to start a fight. So so what? I'm still the rock star. I got my rock moves, and I don't need you. Yeah, you sure do have some rock moves there, Bobby. Yeah, nice work. Uh, and that's right. That that Jesus did in fact call Peter a rock star. Mm, I I think he called him the rock. Rock. My bad. Gunter, Gleben, Globen, Globen. Rock of Ages, Rock of Ages, still a rolling, keep a rolling. So this week, we'll hear more about Peter's story as we close out this unrated series on the Bible. That's right, and Pastor Mark has invited us all to start bringing our Bibles to church so we can study God's Word together. Open the word up for reading along. We can see what the good books say. Flipping the page like yeah. Finding the verse like yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bible party, party in the, the church, church today. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bible, Bible party, party in the, the church, church today. today.